again. This is the third episode of the last thoughts of a busy mind, and I am your gracious voice in the head, Ali. Again, still not a female name. Hmm. To be honest, this episode was supposed to be about Dave Allen, the Irish comedian, who I very recently found, but I thought, well, let's uh, let's skip him until I watched Dave Allen at Large, which I've found and downloaded. Yeah. <laughs> so this is going to be a teaser. Whenever I watch that show, you're going to get an episode about Dave Allen. Alan. <laughs> From what I've seen on YouTube, by the way, he's very funny, so I can't wait to actually go and watch him. I love comedians. Com- comedy is one of my, uh, how, how do I say it, last bastions of hope. Whenever I feel very hopeless, I go and watch either a Monty Python movie, a few Monty Python sketches, or just some stand-up, either... Ricky Gervais, George Carlin, or I go and watch clips of Don Rickles just shredding people apart. But that's neither here or there, so we'll talk about them at a different time. A friend of mine that listened to this uh, actually sent me a voice, an hour-long voice, and... uh, well, he mentioned a lot of things. A few of them I am not ready to discuss here. I will at some point. I promise you I will. Probably next episode. Who knows? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> the one of the things he said is that I oftentimes wonder that I am talking to no one which is a valid argument still in my uh, mind, but he wanted to make me sure that he, as a universe personified, is listening to me. And I am immensely grateful. I can tell you how much I appreciate it. I appreciate anyone who takes time out of their life to talk to me or listen to me. And uh, I know it make me sound a little bit pathetic, but who cares? <laughs> yeah. This episode, I want to talk about popularity. Truth is, I know people always say, and I do mean say, that popularity is overrated. It doesn't matter if you're popular or not. I don't think if I buy that, <laughs> mainly because I like to think that I am not a shallow person, and the truth of the matter is, I, I maybe am. <laughs> who knows, who knows. By the way, today's drink is, again, blue curacao syrup and water, not the same one that I had last week, it's, I've had many other sugary drinks throughout the week, this is just another batch of it. Uh, I'm hoping to keep one of the packets of those powders for next week. Oh, my phone just did the notification. Yes, it's near and there is a timer going on. I'm four minutes in. So, popularity. I don't think I am very popular. Part of it is by design. Part of it is just bad luck. Why? Um, I don't know. Maybe it's my voice. I do have a grating voice, and uh, as much as people say no, I mean, come on. I can hear my own voice too, you know. It's not warm and commanding like um, Christopher Lee or Jeremy Irons. It's not reassuring like Morgan Freeman. Or, um, or who else has a reassuring voice? I only thought about Morgan Freeman. 
Oh, it's not even fuzzy and uh, heartwarming like Benedict Cumberbatch or Tom Hiddleston. Mine is that weird place between too shrill, you know, ah. and uh, too unintelligible. So yeah, maybe the voice is grating. It is. It's one of the reasons. And I tend to talk a lot. I mean, look at me now. I am talking. I have a YouTube channel where I sit on a chair and talk. I have a podcast with my friend, Yasp. Short for yet another shitty podcast. And I talk there. And so yeah, the voice. There is also the matter of the accent. I am Persian, for those of you who don't know, and I live in Iran, so the official language is Persian. Though I don't like Persian, I use it because many of my friends can speak in English, but I don't feel close to it. There are stuff in it I like. I like the literature and stuff like that, but yeah, I... uh, I don't find the Persian language sufficient, is is the word. And a friend of mine used to say it's because you don't know it, and that is a valid argument. I don't know the Persian language as well as I know the English language, because at some point I just felt a distance. Well, and when I speak in English, I speak with a faux British accent, like now. Why? Because I never went to a class to learn English. I learned it watching movies and TV shows, and I learned it watching Jeremy Irons, my favorite actor of all time. And so, yeah, my voice, my accent, I'm sorry, my accent is an imitation of what I heard. A bad one, I assure you, but an, an imitation nonetheless. So I've just eaten lunch. It's 4 p.m. and I've just eaten lunch. So yeah, life is not on plan. <laughs> yeah. So when you listen to me, which, I mean, why would you? When you listen to me, I am annoying. And annoyance lead to unpopularity. The other one is the fact that I am not a conformist. I'm not... I am into pop culture, let me tell you this. I like pop culture. I like Marvel movies. I like Star Trek. I like Doctor Who, but... I am not ready to bow down to things that everyone wants. Everyone loves. I got what's that shitty movie? Fight Club. I don't. And I'll say it. I don't like Fight Club because of these reasons. Now people, people don't want arguments in my experience. Or at least people around me. Five fuckers around me don't want arguments. They want validation. And then you don't validate them. They don't listen to you. They actively mock you. Because you dare to not validate their opinion. Oh my god. That is... How can anyone do that? (laughs) I'm being annoying and... uh, Obnoxious. I know. I know. Or for example... I like the TV show Friends. A lot of people don't. I I don't care. I didn't base my opinion on their reaction to Friends. But, again, they don't want to argue. They they feel like this is the truth of the universe. Friends is a bad show. I disagree, but... You are either with them or you're against them. The mob mentality runs wild. And probably stuff like this is why I'm unpopular. I'm saying it. I am not very political. When I have something on my mind, I just say it. 
if I don't like you, you know I don't like you because I will make sure you know. <laughs> I'm not the kind that, well, let's keep him close. Maybe one day I need him. I need to mention a tale. I am halfway through this episode, but I need to mention this. Uh, there is this guy I know who is a writer in Iran. He has wrote a couple of books, published books. And to be honest, I don't hate his writing. Well, I didn't. His new stuff, some of the new stuff he's written is uh, laughably stupid. And I knew this guy. And I had respect for him. I didn't love him, but I had respect for him. Now, I wrote for a website for a while. And this guy was something in it. I don't remember what. They paid me for it. They accidentally paid me twice. And so in this case, you need to give the money back. I know it. It's common courtesy. <laughs> I didn't earn it. What made me lose respect for this guy is the fact that he messaged me to tell me they paid me wrong. But he came in like, oh my god, how are you old friend? Why don't I have your phone number? Come on. Oh, you know, there is this thing. And he came at it like I was his friend. Just because he was afraid I might not give the money back. That day, that person, I lost a huge amount of respect. A huge amount of respect that I... Still, he hasn't earned back. <laughs> yeah. People just... They look at you like tools, you know. One day you might be useful. I mean, I've done the same thing. I have an old... Uh, what do you call them? Box cutter, yeah. An old box cutter that I keep around. I don't use it that much, but one day I might need it. For I'm cutting... A box so yeah people treat you like that and the way this fucker as I said no respect anymore did it was incredibly insulting and uh, you want to know how much this friend uh, contacted me later none <laughs> yeah the fucker, I even sent him a Happy New Year message. He didn't even had the um, politeness, uh, etiquette, whatever, to send one of those stickers of praying hands. The thank you sticker. Fuck him. But yeah, popularity. I'm not popular because I have a grating voice. I have a weird accent. I love to talk. And I am not a conformist. I will not tell you what you want to hear. A lot of people do, and well, they get to have their own clicks. Jeremy Irons actually said a line in one of his interviews with Craig Ferguson in regards to religion. He said, I'm not very clubbable. And uh, I think that sort of talked to me. Not only because he has an amazing voice, but because I don't, I'm not clubbable either. I'm, I don't belong in any cliques, in Iran at least. I am too mainstream for the intellectuals, I am too intellectual for the mainstreamers. I may have said this in the first episode, it's been two weeks, I don't remember. So yeah. Uh, why am I even saying this stuff? Uh, uh, as usual, a lack of attention. <laughs> as a writer, as an artist, as much as everyone wants to say, and I hate this too, people on social media, the other writers, come and say, no, you write for yourself, you fuckers, all of you have audiences. I don't. You all have people that will suck your dick just if you tell them. I don't. I have to 
beg people to read what I write to. Which is a testament to how bad of how poor of a writer I am. I can't make people excited. Why? Because well and this might be why I'm unpopular. I don't care about current events. I find it boring. These fuckers want to talk about Middle East, the power struggle of the Middle East, what is happening in the Middle East. The Middle East has always had problems, you fuckers. Look at the fucking history. And no, your hot take on what is going on on Middle East throughout your overly complicated choice of words is not entertaining. It's boring, downright stupid. <laughs> and I love these people because one of the things that I think I am qualified to discussing length is movies and when these people want to talk about movies it's one of the funniest things ever it's so funny they they praise bad movies just because there is this scene in them that coincide with their political message the, these people probably love Christopher Nolan And, uh, yeah, they, I mean, I've seen them praise Event Horizon and In the Mouth of Madness, two shitty movies, just because one scene in them, they had an idea in their head and they saw that scene, and instead of saying, ah, oh, look, this movie also had that idea, let's see what not to do, they praise that movie because it had that idea. It, it shows people just want ideas. Shows why Christopher Nolan is uh, popular, and I'm not. So yeah, I don't have an audience. And as a writer, you can't imagine how much that hurts. <sighs> well, there is another thing too, and in that voice, it sort of brought it out. I'm a very bad friend. I have been blessed with so many good friends. I, uh, if I want to name a few, you know, the guy who sent me the voice is Ali Reza. I have a friend, Ami Reza. I have two very old friends, Parsa and Kirash. And uh, I have been blessed with them. They've helped me come out at some of the darkest time in my life. Maybe I'll talk about it someday the nine months of depression and um, I am a very bad friend because I wasn't there for them when they needed me not only because uh, I am socially blind so I didn't even know they had problems but um, I am useless I couldn't help them in any way, yet they've uh, helped me every step of the way. <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> oh fuck, it's bad. I'm a, I'm a bad friend, and I am sorry for that. If you are listening to this. I've tried to be better, but, yeah. So, yeah, conclusion, I am unpopular. Do I care? Yes, I do. I can say I don't. I do. I want to be popular. I want to have people feel good. I want people to want to talk to me, not me forcing them to talk to me, so... My 20 minutes is nearly up, only 30 seconds remains, so maybe this will be a part one, who knows, I will not name it part one, yeah. So uh, again, as usual, if you want to send me a message on Anchor, please do, I will put it in the podcast, it's not a podcast, the audio journal. 
and uh, follow me on anywhere you want. <laughs> I'll see you soon.